Okay, <clears throat> we are live. And um, let me know if um, if the sound is okay and uh, if the image is okay. What I'll do now is I'll um, I will close the door. <clears throat> okay. So uh, I have the camera over here. But I will also be looking at the screen a little bit. And I will wait until some more people have uh, joined. This is a public live stream. Um, and um, in case you did not know, I also do um, members only <coughs> live, st live streams. So, <clears throat> yeah, but this is. This is a public uh, live stream, so it's for everyone. <laughs> okay, uh, GB is here, uh, one of the members, by the way. Um, and um, lots of people are joining, which is wonderful. Okay, let me start here. Let me get straight to the point. The next big thing. What's the next? What is the next big thing? What's what's it gonna be? Um, and by that I mean the next big scare, the next thing that will uh, give the mainstream media journalists easy access to uh, clicks. Um, I mean, you know. If you look back, uh, you know, a few years back, um, well, it's it's always been like this, I guess. But um, but just go back a few years now. So first, we had Trump. Trump was the big thing, and the mainstream media narrative was that Trump was stupid and evil and a very bad man. And it really doesn't matter what you f what your feelings or thoughts are about uh, Trump. Um, you really must be able. You must be able. Uh, uh, no matter what you think, no matter where you stand politically, you must be able to see that it was very biased. Um, it was always negative. You know. Um, Trump was always portrayed as stupid and evil and and all that. And it was the big thing. It was the big thing in um, mainstream media. And they would, if you if you go back and you look at at uh, at what they were writing about, they were mainly writing about Trump. Um, if Trump said something, uh, they would. The next day, say uh, right in you know mainstream media and on mainstream TV channels uh, why that's wrong, you know. So if he if he Trump had said, well, I think the sun is going to rise tomorrow, the mainstream media journalists would then write um, uh, <laughs> the opposite, right? So. After that, after Trump, followed the thing we're not supposed to talk about. The big plague. <laughs> I use, uh, I use uh, plague as a, uh, a code word here. And if you have been following me for some time, um, you will know that uh, that's a code word. And you will know my stance. On, on that uh, that topic, YouTube has implemented new a new policy concerning censorship. So I will be very careful, even more careful now. But what I'm what I'm talking about now is not that; it's that it was the big thing, and at least where I am now, and I. I I sadly I do <laughs> have very easy access to mainstream uh, media uh, 
newspapers on online and and uh, TV channels like Clinton news networks and uh, and all that so I am um, I, I can see that you know it's it is not as <sighs> It's it's on a downward, it's moving down, right? Um, the plague and all that. It's it's somewhat. I think it's not going to be in the headlines as much um, a year from now. Well, maybe <laughs> uh, maybe the headlines will be quite different then, and they will uh, take credit for discovering uh, what some of us have been saying uh, uh, for some time now. But let's let's keep that out of the discussion. Um, it's not going to remain the big thing, and I think the next big thing. And this is this is not rocket science, you know. And I think the next big thing is um, is uh, climate change. Um, and not climate change in the um, what, what can I say not not in the sense that uh, they have been talking about it. It, it, it until now it's it's going to be ramped up and it's going to be polarized it's going to be even more simplified it's going to be used for political uh, influence and gain and so on and so on same old story so i think that's the next big thing um and as i've said before because of the plague um, all the tools are in place you know, so they could essentially they could essentially do the same. They could essentially, um, you know, implement the same restrictions um, and uh, as as they used um, during or are using are using during the the, the plague uh, to to battle climate change, <laughs> you know? So they're going to want to control what you eat. We're seeing that already. Uh, Olivia Rackley, uh, thanks a lot for the donation. Um, I can't read that, I'm sorry, but thanks a lot for the donation. Um, your super chats will pop up so that I will see them. I can't uh, see all the comments in the chat at the moment. We are about 247 people here. Um, and thank you for that. So climate change is going to be used to control people. Well, and we are seeing this already. So uh, they, and they being, who, who are they? Who are they? Well, they are the people who are controlling, um, you know, the the big corporations and uh, the the owners of, um, you know, if you look at, you know, who are they? They are not really the governments, right? In some cases, it is, but they are commercial they are people with co a commercial interest in certain agendas right uh, they are not uh, doing this because they think it's the right thing to do it's because of profit and power uh, now i'm a capitalist and you can unsubscribe if you don't like that but i am a capitalist i think it's a it's a good system i also think that it must be understood if we are uh, to uh, to to be able to to fight against this, uh, Grimjager. Well, thanks a lot for the donation. Thanks a lot. Um, and now, so they're going to want to control what you eat. For instance, uh, I eat 
a lot of red meat. I believe that is very healthy and uh, there is a lot of evidence supporting that. Uh, they're going to want to shift that. They're going to want to uh, make you, uh, how should I put this? You, you know, I could go hunting and get red meat, right? Um, and they don't want that. They want you dependent on supply chains and so on and so on. And if you look at something like, I was like the impossible burger. <clears throat> if you look at what's in that burger, it's like a mixed mixture of things you should not put in your body. Now, if you look at it, it's not healthy. It is not healthy. I mean, just the idea of, of eating soy is, it's not healthy and it's, it's absolutely not good for the environment. Anyway, but uh, so yeah, they're going to 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 um, try to control what you eat, um, and also they're going to try to control how you live. Now, how you live in you know in a physical sense, someone like me, I have two cabins and well three cabins and and a house. And that's horrible. I'm a horrible person. I I know. I know. It's you know, it's um. It's um. Uh, whoever writes "look up" is going to be well. I'm I'm not going to care about blocking you, but do not tell me to look up. Okay. Look it up yourself. So um, they're going to control, they're going to want to control uh, how you uh, live or your, uh, you know, in, basically they want you to rent, not own. Um, you'll own nothing and you will be um, happy. Uh, are we going? Okay. No, red meat does not cause cancer. Those studies uh, were based not on red meat. They were based on things like, um, you know, like sausages and, and things like that. That's And it's, it's anecdotal at the best. So, but please drop that. That's not the topic for this live stream. You can go crazy in the chat if you want to, but please. Show some respect and uh, and leave that out of it now. Okay? Yeah, okay. I promised myself I would not... You're gone, Stian. Sorry about that. It's your fault. Um, Olivia Rackley. Uh, if you're moving to Alaska, well, thank you for the donation. Uh, help you farm that, yeah. Well, uh, it takes lots of time, you know. Um, oh, well, uh, it's very kind of you, but I won't be, uh, I won't be moving uh, to Alaska anytime soon because of my kids, and I'm not. I haven't decided that I will move to Alaska. The world is looking. The world is changing rapidly, you know. At the moment, Norway is not that bad, but now we're getting a, a new government, higher taxes, and so on. It's going to be, you know, it's it's just, it doesn't upset me anymore. It's just, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's too expensive to live here, and that's entirely and only because of the taxes, the tax level. So. Um, and Daniel, yes, please show some respect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, what you eat, how you live, like, you know, uh, do you live in a house now? You're going to have to rent uh, an, uh, a, um, a flat, an apartment. How you travel, you know, 
Um, owning a petrol car is going to be uh, probably a thing of the past in in a few years if they don't come to their senses. Um, now you could say that well, isn't it nice that you know we could all take the train and live in cities and do the same thing and have the same lifestyle? Yeah. Well, if you like that, I guess it's it's a nice thing. I don't like that. I'm a highly independent person, and also I don't like people so much. Uh, <laughs> so I need some space around me, you know. Um, Okay, so we have trolls there, that's funny. Kalis, I, I need to take, uh, I, I, I've been in the past, I've been, I've been killing the trolls and they were trolling against other people who were naughty. Uh, so Kalis is saying, so you're not actually going to move, you're just going to keep yapping about it. Well, I would say if that is, a, that is a comment aimed at someone else in the chat, you are disrespectful and that tells a lot about you. It doesn't tell anything about any, anyone else. Um, and if you're, if that comment was aimed at me, Uh, you don't know anything about me, you know, keep yapping about it. Just go away. We don't have time for people like you. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So, um, what's the other thing, you know? Uh, the other things um, we will have, we will see laws and regulations and restrictions in areas that were not regulated before, and this will all be done as part of, uh, you know, <sighs> protecting the climate and all that. And we see the scaremongering in mainstream media. It's uh, it's it's being ramped up actually. I thought it was people were going to be tired of this, you know, but it's it's um, it's it's getting worse. And I think that's you know, if you look at the election in Norway now, it's everyone in mainstream media. <laughs> they said, well, it's going to be an election about the climate. And I was kind of, <laughs> you know, and it wasn't. Of course, it wasn't because people care about their wallet and also they care about uh, envy well they are envious so if you say you know we're going to tax the rich <laughs> they love that uh, but most of all they care about their wallet and they care less about the climate now i care about the climate actually um, and i think we should do the things to protect nature which is you know very close to my heart and all that, and you know this. Um, and now, still, they're ramping up the narrative. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Um, that was last night. We sadly, we, we still have a TV, um, mainstream media TV channels and all that. It's not up to me to decide. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we have a TV, and uh, there was a, a uh, not a commercial, but a, you know, an ad, if you will, uh, about a coming TV show for for children here in Norway, and it's a you know science popular science TV show, and it was uh, about how. Uh, we're going to have floods and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, houses were, you know, will be tipped over by the storms and all that. And this is very real, they said, you know, now we're going to experiment and see what, what will happen in the future because of climate change. Yeah, that's scaremongering. 
and it's highly unethical. So uh, let me have a look here. James Noble, um, thank you for the donation. Thanks a lot. Um, wonderful. Uh, I can't read everything. There are words that will trigger the censorship here. It's just, yeah. Um, 550, 562 um, people in the chat now. Uh, so I might be wrong, but I think that climate change will be the next big thing and they will throw sense and reason out of the window. Well, they have done that already. Talking about mainstream media, um, because mainstream media is lazy. And I think, well, I don't think, I know, if you work in mainstream media and as a journalist, they will tell you that they, they want you to write about things in such a manner that it gets clicks. Uh, they are, if you can think of the worst cases of um, clickbait on YouTube, Mainstream media is, is a lot worse um, than that. So, yeah. Um, but I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong because main, uh, climate change is, it is, here's what, you know, here's what's happening. Um, climate change is a real thing. But most people, I believe, understand that human activity is not the reason for climate change. It's probably a part of the reason. And we don't know exactly how large that part is. So that's the discussion. You know, and I, me, I think that we should be careful and we should uh, what's, err on the safe side, if you will. Um, and we should do the things that really, you know, works. Um, and we are also seeing the devastation of, of nature uh, in the name of, of uh, protecting the climate or stopping climate change. Uh, one example is uh, how I think it's the new government, one of the parties there, the center party here in Norway, uh, they will be part of the new government uh, along with the labor party. And they are saying that we're going to sacrifice nature to build, uh, um, to build uh, wind turbines because we need that to, uh, well, they were actually saying it straight out. Uh, they were not talking about climate change. They said that we need that to, to create uh, jobs for people. So, but yeah. Okay. Um, James Noble, thank you for the donation again. Um, did I miss any super chats here? Let me scroll up. Um, thank you, Olivia. Thank you uh, again um, for the donation. Uh, yes, Mr. Noble, you, I can read this comment here. Uh, you are right. The end began with Christianity destroying European polytheistic anim animism, separated us from the gods and life force. Well, there is a that's an important uh, point you have there. Absolutely. Uh, I do not. I, I. I do not believe that uh, humans are mo more worth or worthy <laughs> than other creatures uh, in 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 the ecosystem. I I do believe we are we are part of nature, not masters of nature. So yeah. Um, so uh, how are the how are we doing in the in the chat here now okay i i just said i could be wrong because there's a lot of doubt and 
every time people, you know, people, I think people are not as concerned with climate change as one, maybe they should be, two, as mainstream media wants us to believe. Now, when I say maybe they should be, is it's because I think that, well, it's not really climate change we should worry about more. We should worry about things like deforestation, uh, uh, the loss of uh, species, like uh, the extinction of species. We should worry a lot about the oceans, the health of the oceans. We should worry about, uh, like, uh, you know, um, the um, agriculture, the, the um, uh, how to explain this, um, a lot of forest is being devastated to make room for growing stuff that we don't really need, like coffee. That's one example. <laughs> and you don't need coffee for calories, right? So, yeah, coffee is it's nice, but but it it's 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 wrong to chop down the forest to grow coffee, right? That's just one example. So, um, so yeah. But anyway, uh, some of you will disagree. I don't care. <laughs> um, okay. Um, But yeah, um, I could be wrong about what's going to be the next big thing because sometimes things happen um, almost out of the blue, something comes along and the journalists, they, um, they applaud. Like, like they must have done secretly when when Trump uh, got elected as president in the USA, because now they 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 had you know material for the next four years. They could just well go on and on about the same thing every day, and there would be enough controversy surrounding uh, that person for those four years. So you know. Everyone knew this is going to be the next big thing, and it's going to be the same every day. And it's it's silly. It was stupid, and but that's how it is. Um, so something like that could come along, and then they would put the climate change narrative aside, and they they would they would go on about that new thing. Um, now Trump could get re-elected <laughs> um, he's getting old you know um, but if if that happened if you know if Trump gets re-elected I wouldn't be surprised if they just hopped on that wagon again and and and, and went back to to vilifying uh, Trump for four new years you, you know um, I wouldn't be surprised but Something that something entirely different could also happen, I guess. Um, yeah, now, uh, Klaus says, Good morning, from Denmark. Good morning today. Um, good morning in Denmark from Norway. <clears throat> Um, Monashi Prepping, thank you for uh, the thumbs up. The KG is here. Good morning. How are you doing? It's quite early over uh, in the UK now. Um, we want a video about we want a video around the campfire with Sean, James, Steve Walls, and Bjorn. I do not know who Sean James and Steve Wallace is. Uh, but I'm here in Norway, you know, so it's not so easy. Uh, thank you, KG. Got rid of a troll there. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Now, Derby, Clancy, climate change is real. You know, I can tell you it's, it is real. I can see it. I can see it. Um, the climate has always been changing and it is changing now. Um, it has been changing. Uh, we've been living in this place now for 16 years and I, I know that it, is, it has been changing uh, while only during those 16 years we have been living here. Um, so, okay. Uh, climate change is a natural event, says, uh, didn't catch that name there. Uh, yeah, you could say that, well, you could actually define it in such a way that all human activity is natural activity because we are one of the species inhabiting this planet and um, it's just that there's a lot of us and so our activity will have an impact you know greater impact than the impact that um, lions for instance will have because there are not that many lions um, and um, it's uh, moving fast now. <clears throat> uh, what I find very curious about climate change is that um, lots of people will go to the extremes. They will say climate change is not real. Or they will say climate change is caused by human activity. Both of those statements must be wrong. It, there is no, it's not possible to, to say that any of those statements are correct because they cannot be. They are, they are lacking in, in logic completely. You know, it's, what I'm trying to say here is that, yes, human activity certainly will have an impact on the climate. Um, but we do not exactly know how big that impact is. And if it's in a you know a local area, what's the impact there? Uh, and globally, what's the impact there? We do not know exactly, right? <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Olivia, uh, please do not ask me to look up. <laughs> anything <laughs> uh, um i i i'm very grateful for the donation it's just that look up is uh is, is <laughs> i hate that <laughs> um the structure of the argument of climate change is all wrong well, yeah, the the way we think about it, no, 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 the, the way it is presented to us is wrong. It it is, and um, I can I can give one example of climate change here locally. The climate in my local woodland has changed because of deforestation. Now, how could that be? Um, well, it's because when you have a forest like a spruce forest, it will create a microclimate. You can actually measure this. You can walk from an open place like a field and uh, measure the temperature there and go inside among the trees and measure that temperature and the temperature will be higher among the trees. And you will also see this because um, you will have frost on the outside there in the, on the field and you will have wet uh, grass and soil uh, among the trees. And then they chop down all the trees, okay? Hey, presto, you change the climate. That's climate change, actually. It is. And you have changed the climate in the local woodland by chopping down those trees. 
Um, and this is what people need to understand. And I think a lot of the reason why people do not understand this is that they do not have personal experience with these things. They sit in a city in a box and they look at TV or they, they Facebook or whatever. But climate change is real. It's real locally. I can see it, feel it, measure it. Um, and that's where you need to start. I believe that's where you need to start to understand what this is and what needs to be done. Now, I don't have all the answers and I certainly do not subscribe to the narrative presented by mainstream media that, well, we all need to stop eating meat because of climate change. We all need to stop driving cars because of climate change. We all need to build all these wind generators because of climate change. It's <sighs> That's not how we make the world a better place, okay? But anyway. Some of you will say that, well, I didn't know you were such a uh, climate alarmist. And uh, some of you will say uh, you're a climate denier. That's what they say. Uh, and here we go. Yeah, I do not believe the earth is flat. I think, is that I irony there? I don't know. <laughs> Um, I see among the comments there, most of the comments are very nice, so thank you for that. Uh, but there are some proper, proper experts here. Proper experts, so that makes me very hopeful because you guys seem to know everything. And everything is absolute, you know. Um, <laughs> Who caused the ice age? The giants did. Why is the earth flat? Well, again, because of the giants, because they have so big, such big feet, so they trampled the, the earth flat. It was actually shaped like a, a bowl, but it got flat because they, they made it flat with their feet. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, the flat earth thing is, I haven't seen that before in the chat actually. And now I'm sure that, you know, I, I, I've, taken a plane around the earth like to to australia um and uh, and the curvature of the planet and the changing of the landscape down there uh i'm sure that there is an explanation for that it kind of changes in a peculiar way uh on that flat surface so, yeah. Now, <clears throat> um, my biggest worry with the flat earth thing is that, that uh, what will happen if we all gathered on one side? Would it not tip like... And this is the planet, right? The earth. And if we all went to this side, it would go like this. Yeah. Um, but okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. How do we not fall off the earth? Uh, off the edge, I mean. Yeah, that's... That's... Um, That's that. That's uh, strange, you know. You know? Um, yeah. Okay. Let's leave that. Let's leave, let's leave that. I will ignore it. I will ignore it. 
So, so anyway, um, I was just, I wanted to share this with you. And, you know, my main point here in this little chat is that we need to look out for what is the big thing in mainstream media. It will be dominating mainstream media. Uh, it could be climate change. Um, I think it's not, it doesn't um, make people emotional enough. So I think that mainstream media will jump on uh, something different if they can find something different, you know, something like Trump being re-elected or running for re-election, you know, that would be, it's, I know it's a bit cruel when I say that, but it would be fun to see, you know, it would be, <laughs> you, you can, you would then be able to see the little fuses in the little, little uh, electrical circuits in, in their, uh, in, in those talking heads, um, would go off, boop. <laughs> Uh, but it could also be something else, um, and I don't know. I don't know what it will be. But they need something to generate clicks. You know, that's that's what they are after. Uh, it's entirely entirely commercialized now, and it has been for some time. Um, and I feel if I make a um, thumbnail for a video. And I, uh, you know, at some uh, on YouTube, you need to make it visible and you need to evoke some emotion. And I see some people, they go all the way there. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because, you know, it's not right. Uh, but I will sometimes I've, I've felt that should I just not write anything on the thumbnail should I, but then you know youtube will hide the video in their system and you wouldn't even be even if you're a subscriber you would never know that the video existed that's how it works but um yeah um okay how are we doing here um Yeah, I shouldn't be disrespectful when it comes to Trump being, you know, running for re-election and things like that, because it's uh, it's a bit stupid of me to to say it's funny and all that. Uh, I think you have a horrible president now in the USA. It's 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 just disgusting. Um, and so it's a very, it must be, I understand, you know, it must be a very difficult situation uh, for you guys in America. Um, and I'm sorry about that. I am sorry about that. I, I really am. Because I, I've said this before, uh, if the USA falls, we all fall. That's, um, I truly believe that. So yeah, but okay. Um, <laughs> Burb says, the earth is fat, <laughs> not flat, but fat, <laughs> really fat. Well, it is round, you know, it's, it's round. So yeah, okay. Um, I will end this live stream now and I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Maybe you got a, a good laugh even. Um, and um, as, yeah, stay strong. Absolutely, stay strong and uh, don't let the bastards grind you down. You are stronger than you think. Okay, so um, 
get outside, connect with nature, stay healthy, eat some meat. <laughs> and we'll talk later. Okay, bye.